Luigi. Yes, I was going to say. But if Gerard is consistently power shielding all the all the shenanigans and knows how to deal with the Luma, then it can be a little bit dual. And this, ha this is probably, I mean, Gerard, you know, very much well known for being a Wi-Fi warrior. Um, when you play on Wi-Fi, you kind of learn every matchup, you know? You, you, you encounter everything. Wi-Fi is definitely the the training grounds. Season season Wi-Fi but, veteran. But but these tournaments, man, these are the proving grounds. Mm -hmm. And right now, Gerard proving that uh, he knows his stuff. Yes, Gentlemen, in losers finals right now. He's got a handful of PR wins over the last few seasons. Never what? quite able to come out to enough to make it on the PR, but he's been coming out to more, and he's he's making a run for it, and he's got an excellent shot, in my opinion. And right now, he's going to town. On, well, he was going to town on Rosalina. What makes it what makes it so good for Luigi when um, Luma is out is the fact that is the fact that Rose's air dodge is kind of whack. Yeah, it's kind of whack. So Luigi's aerials just start frame trapping her, mm -hmm. and she's stuck. Probably why uh, Gerard was okay going to FD. And know Zaltis typically doesn't love FD too much. I don't think she hates it anymore, but it wasn't exactly her favorite stage either. So it's kind of weird that this is where they would start. Oops. Ooh. I'm guessing Gerard definitely does not want to go to town or triplats, though. So Definitely. into Yeah, into the grab. Oh, Luma did. That's why you need the audio. Ooh, okay. Ooh, read that jump, but didn't wait oh. out the air dodge. And good drift, good drift. Good patience. Just keeping Zaltis in the corner. Good power shield from Zaltus, though. Dude, they're both they're both going at it. That should be a stock. Yeah, that that man, that's so, that's dumb. <laughs> she was sucking so much hits. I though. know for no reason. Oh, by Luma. oh, just kidding. Not good by Luma. That's not Mario's back throw. Oh, that was oh, that, that was gross. Was, that was okay. That I, was cool, but that was ignorant. That I was sick. No, oh, okay. Oh, there you go. That Ooh. was ignorant. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Chad was like, oh, yeah, you, yeah, you right. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So only 22%. Not too bad of a deficit. You're going to use that, user, that lunar landing there to, like, bait Gerard to come through. Not going to get it. Ooh. Ooh, good air dodge read. Again, that back throw not killing Luma. But right, that, that chop will. will. <laughs> chop. All right, let's see what Drag can do with the Super Saiyan percent now. Oh, Ooh. nothing. I swear, Super Saiyan percent was so much better in Brawl. Oh my god, Taylor, why would you go off stage like that? Oh my oh! god, Gerard is nasty! Ooh! Okay. Spaced it perfectly. He knew that Taylor had to recover high, or Zaltas would have to recover high, or she risked getting caught by the Cyclone again. And he just positioned himself exactly where Zaltas was going to land and just... Gone. I Gone. I told you, man, this boy makes me sweat. Game one going into Ger game one going to Gerard. Great play. Very smart stuff from him. Brought it brought it back with just that one play. That one read. So now we're seeing and that's kind of that's one of the reasons I was surprised Zaltis would allow uh, FD for game one, because it is a lot harder for Rosa to recover uh, without these platforms. Because her recovery right, is right. very linear. It's just like, it kind of varies depending on the character, where you want to take Luigi, because some characters can do good on Triplats, while others, like, right. they, they thrive off of that, like, FD. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I I feel like as Luigi, you wouldn't want to fight Rosa on Triplats. At least, but I don't know, I could be wrong. I, I hear he bans Lilat most of the time, though. I don't know if that's how accurate that is. That's just from what I've been told. And you know me, I don't trust any of y'all, so. <laughs> I was playing. Right, that is there goes Luma. Star. All right, that might be a dead Zaltus. Yep, that's a dead Zaltus. Oh yep. my god. Oh my god. 21% on the board. All right. Zaltus getting her off her often started. And doing a good job keeping Gerard in disadvantage. Goes for that downer with the air dodge rebound. She puts herself in a bad position. Oh, but the mess up in the, the match. match. Very, very, very rare uh, from Gerard to not just get that perfectly. But he's still got a solid lead. Ooh. Nice. Interrupts it. Yep. He's still going. All right. Doesn't quite connect with the Nair, but he's still in a great position. Nice grab from Zalthus. Can just get Gerard off stage. Going to recover high and able to get to the ledge. Very nice. Back on the ground. Luma dead. Nice. 
Oh, and doesn't get punished either. Luigi Jab is actually really good at getting rid of Luma. Yeah, it just has a lot of cooldown. Uh, the third Jab 3 has a lot of cooldown, so Zaltis can usually just whiff punish it, but she wasn't able to get it get there in time in that situation. But that's going to be a kill for her. All right, 78%. Zaltis can definitely still do this. I like her putting A Gimp, a Luma kill. You know, a lot can happen. Yep. I mean, I like the fact that she put herself out there to bait out like the drop zone. The drop zone recovery. Yes. All right. Ooh, he just gets the weak hit of back air and doesn't kill the star. Oh, but that chop great will spacing. kill the both of them. Yeah, that was nice. Space the back air so that uh, Zaltus wouldn't be able to grab punish and uh, whiff punish the grab with the with the hands. It was it was such a quick it was such a quick interaction that I didn't I didn't even know the I didn't even re like recognize the spacing that he was doing. Yeah, very very tricky stuff from Gerard. Absolutely. Uh, all right, will Gerard be making it into grand finals, baby? He's looking really really solid. Zaltus might be considering a character swap. If she does, I think like her Lucina would be her best bet. But like Rosalina, as far as I know, is like supposed to win this matchup. Oh yeah, definitely. I just feel that maybe I, I think maybe just a more defensive playstyle from from her. But we are going to see the Lucina, so which is also a great matchup against. A, a very yeah, this is another for very good matchup for uh, or very bad matchup. Not very bad, but it's definitely a bad matchup for Luigi. It's just it's just super dependent on how. Practices her Lumina, she Lumina. she has to play like a similar style that she should be playing with Rosalina though you know she wants to play this very spaced out very or not very spaced out <laughs> very very conscious yes but you know very spacing oriented very defensive and that's typically not what Zaltus likes to do she likes to go in and like push buttons on people and one thing about this matchup is when Lucina gets in disadvantage she's in a really tough spot she does not have great landing options she really like kind of has to go to the ledge every time. All right, that back you know, do wonders. And right now, Zaltus is doing a great job keeping the oh, jungle like game up. Oh, she could hit that. All right, wave bounce, wave bounce neutral B. That could have been punished harder, but I like. I think the grab is fine. Yeah, it's, I mean it is. Get her off stage. Okay, she's able to get back on though. It's actually not doing too bad. She just needs to yeah. keep up that spacing game. Ooh. Right, good patience. Ooh, oh, solid whiff punish. Drought spacing is very good. Uh, well, that was almost bad. Yeah, but Mark and Lucina have long arms. They definitely do, yeah. Oh, nice. Wake up, Uppy. All right, just do it, huh? And I thought we were going to see a drop down counter. Oh, you're dead. Oh, drop down counter would have been really, really great. I think I think Drought had it had was scouting for it. All right, good up B. Frame one invincible in the air. He said they switched that from Brawl. Oh, nice solid roll read from Zaltus. That was great. That was great. Yeah, in um, in in Brawl, grounded up B was frame one invincible, and I believe Ariel was not. But in this game, it's the other way around. Um, Wait, it's frame uh, four or frame six invincible in this game, and in the air, it's frame one invincible. The up B. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's weird. I kind of preferred the ground one being invincible frame one, but you know whatever. Mm. We are wow. out. Perfect punish. Solid stuff. And yeah, like I said, I mean, when Lucina is in disadvantage in this matchup, she doesn't. Not much she can do. She has four landing.